Kumar Sharma. I am a mechanical engineer uh, from Haryana. I have read some verses of Quran in another exhibition hall. On those verses, Messenger of God has told to common people, to common men, that you should come to the mercy of God, uh, Allah. And uh, Allah will bring joy and make your life prosperous. And if you not come to the mercy of Allah, your life will be full of sorrow. I want to know what this here Allah means, whether it is Almighty God or the God followed by only that messenger. And if God is one, then whatever be the religion those tribal people are following, then Almighty God will bring prosperity to those people also. Well, that's a good question. I would just request that the brother who has just accepted Islam, I would like to present to him a copy of the glorious Quran, the translation. I request the brother to come on the top. The brother asked a question that he read a verse of the Quran that if you come to the mercy of Almighty God, he will take you to the right path, otherwise you go astray. So is he talking about Allah only of that messenger or this different messenger, different Allah? Brother, as I told in my talk, that Almighty God is only one, but he has sent several messengers. But all the messengers preach the same message. In the Quran, by name, 25 messengers are mentioned. Adam, Moses, Abraham, Jesus, Muhammad, peace be upon them all. All the messengers, they preach the same message, that believe in one same God. There is no different God for Hindu and different God for Christian and different God for Muslim. All the human beings have got the same God. What we say in Arabic is Allah. You can give any name to Almighty God, but it should be a good name, it should be a beautiful name, it should not conjure up a mental picture. So here it says that you come to the mercy of God, means that if you follow the guidance of Almighty God, and the guidance is given in the last and final revelation of the Quran, then inshallah you'll be successful. As I mentioned, this life is a test for the hereafter. So all the messengers, whether it be Adam, whether it be Noah, whether it be Abraham, whether it be Moses, whether it be Jesus, whether it be Muhammad, peace be upon them all. All these messengers, they spoke about the same Almighty God. And they called all the human beings to the same God, not different God. So what we realize, that the message is kept on getting corrupted. The so moment the message got corrupted, Almighty God sent a different messenger. Same as Bhagavad Gita, chapter 4, verse number 7. Whenever there's unrighteousness, I come. But who comes? Almighty God sent the messenger. In every age. So here we understand that all the messengers preach the same message. But the previous messages have been corrupted. This is uncorrupted. God says in Surah Hijar, chapter 15, verse 9, I have revealed this Quran and I will guard from corruption. Hope that answers the question. <laughs> 